As the limitations of human exploration gradually increase, it inevitably unveils unwitting things both above and below the water surface. From unraveling ancient mysteries to discovering shocking truths, hang on, as today we're discussing all the times explorers captured something that no one was supposed to see. Shark Checking Submarine Who said cats are the most curious animals? Let me show you a magnificent sea creature whose curiosity is enough to send chills down your spine. Diving several meters below the ocean surface, a group of deep-sea explorers was struck by a huge cloud of mud rising up just beside their submarine. Okay, oh, still in the belly. Yeah, still yeah, yeah, yeah. From that murky cloud emerged a giant predator. With its enormous mouth that looked even larger after it gulped the tiny prey. At first, it was assumed to be the ancient Greenland shark, but the shape of its mouth, along with its tail and fins, makes it something quite different. This deep-sea gigantism was actually a blunt-nosed six-gill that was curiously inspecting the metal invader. Mammoth Bones Exploring the unknown isn't always horrifying. Sometimes, it can be pretty amazing. Such was the experience of these paleontologists who unearthed a massive mammoth tusk and part of its skull in Mexico. While the dig site revealed the remains of more than 14 mammoths, the most impressive find was the tusks, which measured longer than five feet on each side. The tusks were so big that it took several paleontologists and a crane to pull them up. But what's even more amazing is the way the bones were found. Most paleontologists believe what they found was a massive mammoth trap set by humans some 14,000 years ago. So it's even more impressive that a group of woolly mammoths had walked right into the trap. Unbelievable, right? 66 million year old limb. Scientists have unearthed a massive leg belonging to a dinosaur in North Dakota, and it dates back 66 million years. The leg is possibly from a Thescalosaurus, an omnivore that walked the Earth millions of years ago. But what's astonishing is the possibility that this big lizard belongs to one that was present on the day the asteroid hit, suggesting this limb belongs to a dinosaur that perished from the Earth-shattering event. It's also possible the limb was ripped apart from the dinosaur after the asteroid hit, burying it deep into the ground and preserving it for a million years until only recently when it was found. Half-Eaten Shark You'd think there's nothing scarier than sharks, but what these two fishermen pulled out was far scarier than anything they'd imagined. Sammy Hitsky and Sean, two fishing fanatic friends, were on one of their usual trips when their fishing hook caught something. Excited to pull out a big tuna fish or maybe a massive salmon, the two men were shocked when they reeled in a big thresher shark. But that's not even half of the story. The shark they'd reeled in was half eaten, with a bare spine and missing organs. The men realized the shark was not their biggest threat, but the creature that had eaten this massive shark. Who knows what dangers lurk under the ocean? But if it can eat a shark, you'd best stay away. Secret Megalopolis of Ants Even the ants testify to use case of a megacity with a growing population. In December 2010, Professor Louise Forgi, along with a team of diggers, discovered an underground mega ant city in Brazil that they decided to excavate. Before the excavations could begin, over a dozen tons of cement was filled in to contain the ants, and after three days, the digging started. After weeks of digging, they measured the city to be 8 meters deep and spread over 50 square meters. They tracked several highways and shallow paths that connected the megacity to feeding grounds, rubbish, and even plain gardens. From good ventilation to shortest route pathways, the infrastructure seemed so robust as if it were designed by a single architect. Strange Baby Shark when it comes to sharks, you might always get the image of them being big, fast, aggressive, and filled with hate. But this shark junior, however, melted everyone's heart. In November 2018, 
This baby shark that was inside its egg case was found by the NOAA during an expedition by the coast of Puerto Rico, showing a baby shark in pink that looked as cute as a kitten. While most sharks tend to give birth, the benthic shark species are oviparous and lay almost transparent egg cases that are attached to invertebrates or algae until the fetus grows big and hatches. Jellyfish eat fish. Seeing through a jellyfish that is gradually munching away a fish isn't something you get to see every day. In August 2018, a remotely operated vehicle that was out on expedition in the Pacific Ocean off the coast of Australia came across a rare sight of a box jellyfish that was hunting and later devouring a fish. The incredible capture showed the fish while it was inside the box jellyfish and was being eaten. Within over a minute, the box jellyfish consumes the fish with nothing left to show for it. Unknown Creature this certainly looks like the case of a fast decaying brown bat that met its end by getting crushed. Residents from the Mexican city of Puebla found this bat-like being in the swamps of northern highlands and were shocked by the discovery. A local wildlife expert, upon examination, revealed it to either be a new species of bats or an undiscovered animal species that looks very similar to that of bats. The feisty-looking rare animal caused a stir among the locals, who believe it to be some sort of alien or an omen of some kind. Deformed Shark Nature can be pretty cruel, but sometimes it can be downright sinister. Animals that are disabled or deformed in any way usually end up eaten, simply because predators view anything differently abled as easy to approach. So, even the biggest predators can quickly become prey, like this shark that doesn't have a well-formed spine. Nicknamed Quasimodo, this shark is probably suffering from kyphosis, a condition in which the spine bends. This commonly happens with sharks that live near or in captivity. Unfortunately, a deformity like this means the shark won't survive for so long. It's either going to become chowder or pass away quicker than others. Even then, it's impressive how far along Quasimodo has come. Army of Spider Crabs If you're scared of tarantulas and snakes, you might want to add these spider crabs to your list. A single spider crab may not be scary, but when hundreds of them begin to crawl on the ground, they are nothing short of a nightmare. But these heroic spider crabs have gathered to protect one another from a nearby ray. The ray can easily feast on one of them, but with their power combined, snatching even one becomes difficult. The defensive technique works, and the ray fails to catch a prey. Floating Veins This could be anything from a series of worms to a functioning nervous system of some symbiotic creature. A group of environmentalists were collecting samples to study how fast and the extent of harm humans are creating when they found this strange white slime floating in the wetlands of Nebraska. With the nature of this creature not known, the recorders decided to capture footage of it, which was later uploaded onto the internet. Many biologists and wildlife experts believe that this may be a species of the basket star from the similar resemblance, while many speculate it to be some sort of fictional creature. Before we move any further, like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon so you can keep watching our amazing content. Titan Triggerfish This fish might just give the Kardashians a run for their money. No, you're not seeing things. This actually is a shrimp with plump, human-like lips. This is the Titan Triggerfish, and it might just have the rosiest red lips in the sea. While the Titan Triggerfish boasts a unique feature, it has the personality of Ursula. Not because the fish is evil or anything, mind you, but because it's known for bouts of aggression, so it's used to hitting anything that comes close. It's almost like anything can trigger the fish, hence its name. So, if you're ever scuba diving in lagoons and get body slammed, just know it's probably the Titan Triggerfish. Fish with human face We've seen a fish with human lips, but what about one with a human face? No, I'm not pulling your leg. A human face fish actually exists, and it was recently spotted in China. 
Now, this isn't some of those weird, only found in the deep sea creatures. This is a common carp, and thanks to its looks, you'll know many people believe it's a reincarnated fairy or human. Only this fish is actually real, and this was the first time such a fish was captured on camera, then seen by thousands of people worldwide. Scientists have always known carps to look human-ish, but seeing one really puts things into perspective. Fish with two mouths. Imagine going fishing with your family, hoping to get a good catch, and getting a two-for-one deal, quite literally. This is a two-headed trout, and it's a one-in-a-million catch. The trout was reeled in while fishing in Lake Champlain. Of course, catching such a rare fish is purely luck. You can't just go out hoping to catch a two-headed fish and actually get one. That being said, if you ever happen to catch one, know that you're extremely blessed to be able to see such a rarity in your hands. Bioluminescent Mud Imagine if the ground glowed with every step you take. If you love fairy tales and mythical worlds, venture into Australia's Queensland, where a mud creek is going viral for literally glowing in the dark. Nature explorer Matthew Hodgson was walking across a marshy creek when he realized a glowing blue light was underneath his feet. At first, Hodgson couldn't believe his eyes. He'd heard of glow-in-the-dark animals, but the Earth itself shimmering blue? But the minute he regained his senses, he realized he'd actually discovered bioluminescent mud. Of course, the sand itself isn't glowing, but is probably holding millions of bioluminescent algae, which come to the surface when you step on them. Yet, this is still a pretty cool discovery. Unique Fish Just when the divers thought that they were done exploring an area and familiarized themselves with the marine animals encountered, this strange creature makes a random appearance. In May 2020, researchers were diving in a cave near several miles of the coast of India, where they encountered this strange, unique, and unrecognizable fish that left them baffled. Unaware of the strengths and weaknesses of the fish, they captured the fish to store it in an aquarium with similar water conditions while trying to learn. According to some experts, this may be from axolotl morph species, which are said to be endangered. Mutant Goat Indian villagers had the shock of a lifetime when one of the goats birthed on the farm had a terrifying side to it. Born to an unknown farmer, the goat went viral for having a human face. The goat had a sleek, rubbery face with a human-like nose, and even had a lip-like mouth. While it's apparent the goat was suffering from a genetic mutation, the villagers were terrified. This is because Hindus believe one can be reincarnated as an animal, so many believe the goat was actually once a human, who was trapped on Earth in this animal-like form. Leaf Bugs the animal kingdom has some of the most amazing features, and perhaps one of the most powerful is the ability to blend in. You might want to look again, if you believe this is a leaf. While it looks remarkably similar to one, it's actually a big bug, a katydid to be precise, and it's known for looking like a leaf. The katydid's unique camouflage is so accurate that many people fail to notice they're looking at an insect. This is why they've been dubbed the leaf bugs. And of course, this ability also helps it divert predators that mostly leave confused, searching for prey. Snowfall in Sea and Snow River Watching an avalanche falling rapidly down a mountainside is not an everyday sight, but watching something like this is also a once-in-a-lifetime sighting. Imagine being trapped on a boat in the middle of nowhere, surrounded by water in the dark, and then suddenly it starts to snow, just like a magical world, or at least you're walking inside a snow globe. Although it is calm, it is quite terrifying at the same time. Lightning Strike River <laughs> Truly unbelievable! A powerful thrust of lightning striking straight into the river, 
building up high waves, making the calm waters insanely blast. This horrific incident was observed a few years back in Brazil, when a guy was standing near a peaceful river. According to him, a lightning bolt traveled horizontally into the water instead of from the sky, and struck the river. However, according to researchers, it is impossible for the light to travel horizontally across the ground, so there is a possibility of it being some kind of dynamite blast. Deep Sea Blizzard Now, you don't have to leave for the Arctic South Pole to enjoy a snowfall, because this deep sea blizzard somewhere in the dark depths of the ocean is ready to mesmerize you. This strange phenomenon of tiny particles falling from the ocean's surface to the deep sea is known as marine snow. What looks like whitish snowflakes are actually organic particles. A mixture of sea debris and snot that either came from microscopic algae or shrimp-like animals and kept on sinking deeper and deeper, just like snowfall. Pumice Clog Swimming into a pool full of Orbeez is quite fun, but what about swimming into an ocean full of tiny gray rocks? A strange phenomenon was observed two years back in Japan, when the coastline in Okinawa Village started accumulating froth-like stones. Forming a thick layer over the water's surface, the small porous rocks were making water life-threatening, not only for marine animals, but also for the humans. These bubble-like objects were actually pumice stones that started littering the coast of this area after a volcanic eruption on Ogasawara Island. It took more than three weeks for the authorities to clean up the shore from these lightest rocks that had badly affected tourism and fishing. Homo erectus in Brazil Homo erectus, an extinct species of humans that walked the Earth two million years ago. Most evidence of the Homo erectus includes ancient skeletons, but we may have just found a living one. Spotted in Brazil, this man went viral for having features quite similar to Homo erectus. With a raised nose, protruding pointy ears, and a hunched back, the man is happily dancing to music. But it leaves us to wonder, is the Homo erectus really extinct? Or are they hiding among us, just like this man? What do you think? Diver Trapped Underwater This is the Blue Hole, a deep diving point in Sinai, north of Dahab, Egypt. While an extremely beautiful spot, the Blue Hole is extremely dangerous and has claimed hundreds of lives. On April 28, 2000, it took a diver's life in the most horrifying way. Yuri Lipsky was exploring the Blue Hole when he landed on the seabed after an uncontrolled descent. Lipsky was trapped. He couldn't rise up despite several efforts, and his panic only accelerated his misfortune as he began hallucinating after nitrogen narcosis. Lipsky soon succumbed to the narcosis, and his horrifying demise was recorded on his camera, which was retrieved after fellow diver Tarek Omar pulled out his body. Mysterious Cave Those who willingly explore caves are always prepared to meet the worst, but what these spelunkers saw was much more horrifying than anything they'd ever seen. While exploring the McCoy Mine in Nevada, spelunkers made a disturbing discovery. Buried deep into the cave were dozens of piles of children's shoes, all covered in dirt and possibly only a few years old. But children's shoes aren't the most horrifying part of the discovery. The spelunkers were terrified when they spotted several human bones buried amidst the heap of shoes. The spelunkers had no idea whether they'd been pranked or found an actual crime scene. And unfortunately, there's no way to know because there hasn't been any update. Underwater Crop Circle Crop circles have always confused people because of their possible alien origins, but most crop circle theories have been debunked simply because they can be easily made. Well, try explaining this one. Embedded deep into the ocean floor are mysterious crop circles that are so perfectly drawn as if they were carved by Michelangelo. The crop circles stumped marine explorers for years, 
until they finally figured out the cause. Turns out these unique designs are made by male pufferfish as an attempt to woo females. Hilariously, the crop circles are judged by interested females, and if they like the construction, the two pufferfish mate. Seal attacks sunfish. The ocean is a horrifying place, and this aggressive encounter proves that there's always a bigger fish in the marine depths. Measuring longer than 10 feet and easily weighing 5,000 pounds, the sunfish is not an easy prey. But this hungry sea lion tackled one unfortunate sunfish and wouldn't back down. The sunfish made several attempts to escape, but was rebuffed every single time. Although the sunfish was quite massive, the sea lion easily overpowered it, and with a single bite, rendered it still. The sunfish had no choice but to bear being eaten alive by the hangry sea lion. Spider Dummy If you thought there could be nothing more creepy than a spider hanging in the middle of a jungle, think again. While this massive spider looks eerie enough, it's not actually a spider, but hordes of insects. Called the spider dummy, the spider-shaped mass of horror is made by a much smaller spider from the stiff corpses of ants or other insects. The spiders make these self-portrait dummies to fool predators like birds and larger spiders. And while this immensely unique mode of defense works, it's quite spine-chilling. Giant Footprint a prehistoric footprint in the granite outcrop is certainly a convincing piece of evidence that giants once roamed this beautiful part of South Africa. A distinctive shape of about four foot long barefoot imprint on the cliff of Mapumalanga is believed to be 200 million years old, and it was first discovered by a hunter who named this giant mark the Footprint of God. Based on the relative proportions of the human body, the hypothetical owner of the footprint would have been 24 to 27 feet in height. It has proved a brain teaser for geologists who have struggled to explain it. But for locals, the explanation is simple. It is the footprint left behind by a supernatural being in the distant mythical past. Whale Shark with Deformed Tail Some deformities are scars of a fierce battle, and others might suggest a mysterious past. This whale shark was captured under the pristine waves near the Galapagos Islands, and while it had a majestic body, its tail hinted toward a painful experience. The tail of the whale shark was deformed, almost bent from the edges in a zigzag fashion. The upper end of the tail was curved and hanging low, while the lower part was almost perfectly streamlined. From afar, it looks as if the shark was injured, perhaps battling another shark over food. But it's also possible that the tail simply grew this way, a rather intriguing thought. Whatever the case may be, it's obvious the massive shark doesn't have to worry much. Proboscis Monkey For proboscis monkeys, it's not just their nose that's huge, but also their courage to take unbounded risks. A family of proboscis monkeys were documented at a time when they were leaping from great heights of the trees into crocodile-infested rivers in search of new feeding grounds. One by one, each monkey makes a daring jump along with their young into the water, making noise loud enough to get the attention of nearby crocodiles. With the proboscis being natural swimmers, they managed to get to the other side of the river safe and sound. Unknown Monster the good old saying of nothing good happens past 10 seems to be very much applicable even for the animals. A clip captured in mid-September 2021 shows a bizarre, furry, snake-like monster that farmers from a village somewhere in the Philippines encountered. This unknown being had itself latched onto one of the goats, which the farmers were desperately trying to fend off. It had a tight hold over the poor goat, almost as if it were trying to feed on it until it gave in to the pressure put by the farmers and started fleeing into the dark while being chased. Vampire Squid The name of these squids is usually overrated until they start living up to it. In November 2019, only a mile deep off of Mexico, scuba divers were attacked by this squid, leaving them with injuries. 
The social media celebrity adventurer Jeremy Wade, upon hearing about the incident days later, decided to check out the squid in the set area for his famous series River Monsters. After several hours of search, Jeremy, along with his team, managed to capture the dead vampire squid that he believes to be the perpetrator of the attacks. Frilled Shark Although this one might be tiny, that doesn't make it any less dangerous than other shark species. The gill slits of these predators have a fringed-like appearance on either side of its body. These sharks have teeth design far superior to that of your regular shark, as the teeth are formed in clusters of trident shapes pointing vertically and inward. This compensates for their small, less powerful jaws by giving them a firm grip over slippery prey or predators like a squid or an octopus. This particular frilled shark measured 1.5 meters long and was found at a depth of 1,570 meters during a deep sea fishing expedition. Deep Sea Dragonfish Fishes like these are not easy to catch due to their rarity and the fact they dwell in the deepest, darkest depths of the oceans. In 2005, marine biologists were out on a research trip off the coast of San Clemente, California, when they managed to trawl in a tiny group of dragonfish, most of which had expired due to stress and unable to adapt with the changing environment. With only one survivor left at hand, researchers took extra precautions for its safety by placing it in a specialized aquarium for it to be able to survive long enough to future study its kind. Crystal Skull Somewhere in the north of Las Vegas in 2017, it was for the very first time an explorer was able to capture images of the rarest crystal skulls. The crystal skulls are not just uncommon, but are terribly mysterious and have drawn supernatural speculation. Many believe these skulls were carved thousands or even tens of thousands of years ago by an ancient Mesoamerican civilization. Others think they may be relics from the legendary island of Atlantis, or proof that extraterrestrials visited the Aztecs. Since there is currently no way to accurately determine the age of such inorganic objects, no one knows for sure who made these skulls and when. Mouth Brooding Fish What you're looking at is a mama kitchlet and her little kitchlet babies. And no, you're not seeing things. The babies did just pop out of their mom's mouth. But before you go on thinking this is something sinister, no, she didn't just eat her children. Well, sort of. You see, when the mama lays eggs, she places them in her mouth to incubate. The mama kitchlid then spends a while without eating, only so her babies can grow up. The babies get out when they're grown. But sometimes, the mama kitchlid grows weak and won't give up her children. In this case, their owners can gently pry their mouths open to let the babies out, so the mama can finally eat. Wholesome, right? Sheep's Head Fish Okay, now even I'm beginning to get suspicious. Why in the world are there so many fish with human-like features? We might never know the answer. But here's another fish sporting a full set of human-like teeth, and it's quite creepy at first glance. And when you take a look at the fish's skin, you might not want to be friends. That's because the sheep's head fish, as it's called, has striped skin that looks exactly like a prison jumpsuit. Some even call it a convict fish. But we aren't here to judge the fish's past, but marvel at its teeth. Not only are they quite human-like in appearance, they're also aligned perfectly. Now that's a dentist's dream fish. Shark ate camera. Sharks can be quite ferocious, and what this camera experienced goes to show. Sharks can take anything as prey. A group of divers had ventured into shark territory to get a glimpse of the mighty creatures. But amidst exploration, one of the tiger sharks got hungry and decided to eat the camera. The tiger shark lunged, and with a single bite, the camera was in the shark's mouth. However, the shark spit out the camera after realizing it wasn't food. But it was the diver's luck that the shark targeted their camera because if it had gone for one of the divers, surviving wouldn't have been possible. Prehistoric Teenager 
Have you ever wondered, how were the first ever humans like? This marvelous discovery, made in a giant underwater cave, is showing scientists the face of the first Americans. Naya was a teenage girl who lived 13,000 years ago, and her skeleton was recently uncovered when a team of divers explored the now underwater Hoyo Negro cave. A detailed forensic analysis revealed that Naya possibly belongs to the first ever Americans who walked on Earth. Surprisingly, Naya was alive during the last ice age, and it's possible she passed away after falling in the same cave, which was dry and raised back then. Naya's discovery is a step forward in the field of archaeology, and is constantly revealing new things about the old world. Ichthyosaur Fossil a dog's love for bones has come in handy, and two dogs belonging to John Gopsil proved this when they sniffed out a fossil of an ichthyosaur. Scientists estimate the fossil dates back to the Jurassic period and is at least 65 million years old. But this isn't the first time an impressive ichthyosaur fossil was discovered. A while ago, Chilean paleontologists uncovered an intact ichthyosaur fossil from a glacier, and it was pregnant. With untouched embryos, the ichthyosaur is estimated to be the oldest marine mom in Chile, and her discovery has made a lot of progress in the field of paleontology, because it shows some dinosaurs gave birth to live young, instead of laying eggs like we've believed. The two discoveries are equally groundbreaking and amazing! Titanic Graveyard Despite being one of the most popular boat crash sites, there's still a lot that it has to reveal. Dubbed the Titanic Graveyard, this dive site frequently reveals the belongings of those who perished in the crash. One of these includes a pair of little shoes, remarkably preserved despite staying underwater for so long. The shoes belong to an unknown boy who has never been confidently identified. Unfortunately, this isn't the sole pair of shoes found. Most of the Titanic gravesite includes several hundred pairs of shoes scattered around the seabed after their owners tragically passed away. Most explorers have left the site as is, refusing to bring up the shoes for the sake of the victim's peace and dignity. Let's pray they all make their way to heaven. This picture of a fisherman holding a bizarre-looking creature was shared earlier this year. And since then, it's quickly gone viral. According to some sources, the strange creature was captured by a man from central Trinidad, who was also in great shock after reeling in the enormous creature with a body of a seal with fish-like fins and a gorilla-like face. This viral photo has generated several theories, as well as fantasy stories, putting netizens in a state of confusion. Many people are convinced the creature is a real oddity from the ocean, However, there are still a few people claiming the giant creature is a fake one. Well, what are your views about this hybrid of gorilla and seal? Do let us know by commenting down below. Thank you very much for watching the video. Do like and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to not miss any of the upcoming amazing videos. Thank you once again.